This is our $500 Civic. We've already done a bunch of crap to this thing, including pulling out its old engine. Yeah, we replaced this old tired sucker with a K20A, but since this has been lying around the shop, we thought, why don't we take it apart and then put it back together without any instruction? Ah, how hard could it be? How hard could it be? Why is it not getting to it? Will you stop. Go <laughs> back over there. I don't like this. 30? See this? Yeah. You're giving me a lot of concern right now. We didn't label none of this. I think these two bullets go here. All right, on three. Okay, so here's what's going on. You know, we took this engine apart thinking that it was, you know, a 400,000 mile engine and that we'd come across some interesting stuff as we took it apart. This is the 400,000 mile engine from our Honda Civic. That didn't turn out to be the case. It looked like the engine had been rebuilt. Everything was pretty fresh. Look at that. that thing That's a be... fresh gasket, which leads me to believe this thing's been apart a time or two. So we were kind of feeling like, you know, the disassembly was a little bit boring. So how do we spice things up? Well, Eddie came up with a brilliant idea that we need to put this engine back together now with no instructions and then get it fired up. We'll see if we get that far. Today's job is just to get the thing back together. I'm sure we didn't lose any hardware. We definitely lost hardware. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I hope okay. So these are our main caps all connected together. Not all engines will be like that. A lot of the times the main caps will all be individual. But in this one, they're all one big piece, which is pretty nice. Makes things a little bit easier, so I'm not complaining. All right. Oh, Hi. would you look at whom it is? Sorry, there's a lot of stuff going on. Ah, yeah, shut yeah. up, nobody cares. Look, we gotta put this engine together. We don't have any torque specs, and now we're getting to the point that that's about to matter. We're putting all the main, disgusting. Sorry to interrupt. All right, you got the Are main? Are you? Nah. I know. <laughs> you didn't want to put the pistons on first, make it easier for yourself? Get the f <laughs> go back over there. It's crazy for you to come over here and offer any sort of advice after being MIA all day. If you want to pitch ideas, <laughs> maybe be here. I'll do the hardware, you jam them up. Okay. Hey, here we go, this is piston one. This is not the right way to do it, but what is, you know? There we go. Yeah. Took two seconds. Oh, but that's number one. No, that's four, and I know it's number four. I'll try okay, to well, here's it. number one. Okay, we are allowed to use a torque wrench. We just aren't allowed to know what the torque specs are. I think like 35 to 40 for these. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. Is that higher or lower than you're going to guess? I think we should go 50. What if it's, what happens if it's too tight? What happens? You can get a little more crush. I think, I like think if anything, we're already overshooting it a little bit. Really? Yeah. At 40? That's my I guess. Yeah. way under. You want to do this one? Feel it? Yeah. Feel what you feel? Yeah, I think it's tighter than that. Whatever. It's a Honda. <laughs> yeah. So we went with 45 foot-pounds on the mains and 35 foot-pounds on the rods. I think that's the right ballpark. I wanted 30 and 40. Let the record show I wanted 30 and 40. Dude, I can't wait for us to start this thing up on the stand. It just goes... <laughs> it just keeps going. I feel like I'm stretching bolt. Why is it not getting to it? Okay, all right, all right. I don't like this. I want it less. If it's doing that at 35, it means it probably wasn't supposed to be at 35. It probably should be at like 25. Bruh. All right, so we got pretty much everything buttoned up, ready to get the head back on. We have a single overhead cam, two valves per cylinder. Very simple setup, ready to get thrown back on there. Slap that head gasket on. What are we thinking? 65 at least. So I was yeah. thinking like 50 to 60 or 55 to 65. I say 60. All right, we'll start at 40 and then we'll crank it up. Okay. OK, 
Okay, for the cam caps, we're gonna do 25 foot pounds. Why 25? Well, because why the hell not? <laughs> Oh, that's a good shot. Watch this. Oh, you didn't get there. <laughs> We're torqued down, baby. Let's do some timing, shall we? Uh, we didn't pay any attention when we were taking this thing apart and we're not using any sort of manual, so we're just gonna hope that the timing marks are pretty obvious. How hard could it be? Yeah. There's some on there, I bet. Right here. Mm -hmm. I just gotta go vertical. End of this. Where does that go? Somewhere. <laughs> Where do we line these marks? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm gonna put these marks right there. Uh huh. And I'm gonna put these marks squared like that. And then this, do you think this goes top? Oh, this says up. So yeah. Hey, is it bad to eat over an engine? Stop, no. get out of here. Is it bad to put spark plugs in your noodles? <laughs> Should we try it? Let's try to get some tension on it. Yeah. There we go. That's a little on the tight side, TBH. You know what's tight? <laughs> oh my God. Someone's gotta be the mature one around here. And it ain't me. <laughs> we did it. We did it. This thing's gonna run, baby. Yeah. Just for safety. All right, so here we've got the distributor. Uh, this is responsible for sending spark to the spark plugs at the right time. So this little gear here interacts with the end of the camshaft, spins this, shoots spark out of these things to the spark plug wires. Boom, boom, bang, bang, boom. Should be pretty easy. Oh, Nick painted the valve cover. Oh, that's gorgeous. Nice, Nick. Nice, dude. Oh, yeah, baby. So you this on your people. Okay, time for the oil pan. We've got an oil pan gasket. How nice. How many tries do you think it would take to just toss it on? A hundred? First? Oh, that was so close. Oh, it broke. Did it really? My turn. <laughs> <laughs> close. Ooh, from, from deep, Jimmy. Yeah. I expected nothing less. Okay, this thing is back together. And I think it went pretty smoothly considering we had no instructions, no information, no torque specs. All we had was our big old mushy brains. But to see how good of a job we did, uh, Adam's gonna throw this on an engine stand with all the fixins to get it fired up in here. And I guess we'll see if it can fire up. I think we're gonna be good. So you're gonna fire up first try. Hey guys, the car collectible for car nerds, Stocky is back with a brand new model. Honda S2000. Just like the Integra Stocky, the S2000 is officially licensed by Honda. It's perfectly smooshed. It also comes in three OEM paint codes and a pre-order only edition that's painted in our special Cars of Pain livery. Pre-orders are open now, so go to DonutMedia.com for a 15% pre-order discount. The window is only open for two weeks, so don't sleep on it. Set an alarm on it. <laughs> and as always, thank you so much for your support on Stocky and everything else we do. We can't wait to show you all the other cars we have lined up for the Stocky family. Big things to come for this little car. Stocky, get yours now. All right, Jerry. Yeah. Well, we got this engine put back together. We did. And I've got some intel on how we did. Oh, let's see how close we were to those torque specs, shall yeah. we? First, the rod. We went with 35 foot pounds. Okay. Okay. It was actually <laughs> 22 foot pounds. Oh, okay. So we're 
halfway over. Yeah, that's not great. The main bearings are the main yeah. caps. We went with 45 foot pounds. Okay. They were 33. Okay, getting so, better. Yeah, we're still about the same number off, 10, yep. 12, 13. For the head bolts, we went with 55 foot pounds. Okay. And it were 47 actual foot pounds. So all right. That's pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I think all that's good. The real yeah. question is, did we time it right? Yeah. Did we put the distributor back on right? Right. Eh, who knows? Who knows, but yeah. I think it's time to find out. Let's so find Adam and Heber have gotten this thing all rigged up, and now it's time to flip the switch of destiny. All right, Heber. Ignition on. Yeah, plug that thing in. All right, here we go. All right, on three. Well, Jerry, we did it. We did it, we yeah. We put an engine back together with no instructions. Now I think we need help figuring out where we put this engine. Should we put it in a Changli? Should we put it in another project car? Should we put it in a boat? Eddie really wants to put it in a boat. <laughs> Leave some comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow Zach at Zach Joe. Follow me at Jeremiah Burton. Follow us here at Donut at Donut Media. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>